And are you someone who loves and has a huge passion for fashion, but you don't like to dress like everyone else? You like to stand out, be unique, different, and fabulous? That's the case, stay tuned. I'm gonna show you how I turn this plain denim jacket from a plain denim jacket to something fabulous and unique. Stay tuned. Sorry, I had to stop recording in the middle of me bleaching the jacket because my brother called me and I forgot um, to push record and I uh, flipped the jacket over to get to bleach it on the opposite side to make sure that the bleach goes through both sides. But what I did was I bleaching just the sleeves only. So the, the whole jacket is not gonna be um, bleached. And so I'm doing the sleeves and then I'm gonna let that dry overnight and then um, tomorrow I'm going to add the paint to it if I decide to add the paint and just see how it turns out. I'm not trying to do it perfect because I want it to be, you know, sort of like kind of imperfect because that's what's going to make the jacket special. So I'll come back tomorrow when um, I get ready to paint and we'll see how it turns out. Y'all stay tuned. It is like one after 1 a.m. in the morning. I could not sleep, so I thought I'd get up and come work on the jacket a little more. But I'm really loving it, just like this. I'm just loving the way it looks just like this. This will go great with just some cream color pants. But I don't want to leave it like that because that's still just simple. That's just bleached sleeves, so now I'm going to attempt to paint the sleeves and hopefully it still looks good, but I'm really loving the way that this looks.
jacket is finished and I must say I'm satisfied I like it um, and since this was my first time um, doing a paint job on a jacket um, I tried to be on the safe side with it at first what I envisioned in my mind I was gonna do like different splashes of different color splashes of paint but the stitching on this jacket is a like a gold stitching and so that's what color this paint is and it's it's a light gold i thought it was actually a darker gold i thought it was the color of the stitching when i got it but it's actually it actually almost looks the same color as the bleach splatter because the bleach turned out to be like cream color since this was my first time doing a paint splatter customization on uh, a jacket, I decided to just be safe. And as I did it, I thought, you know, the cream color of the bleach and the gold uh, paint splatter, it actually looks kind of nice. And at first I was going to go into this area and do bleach spots, but I was kind of afraid that it might spread to the other parts and I didn't want bleach on you know these parts so I just left it you know like this I did the sleeves and I did the collar the inside and outside of the collar at first I just did this part you know where the collar flips down but I thought well what if somebody wants to pop their collar and wear it up so I had to put paint on the opposite side and um I think it looks really good y'all and i'm really very pleased it's not um completely done drying so i'm gonna let it dry for possibly another 24 hours i'm gonna turn the fan on it when i um finish this video i'm gonna put the fan back on it let the fan blow on it all night because i want to wash it to make sure that when the after the jacket is worn and it's washed that you know the paint stays on there this is fabric paint and it's supposed to be permanent fabric paint hopefully it is permanent as it states it is once I started I couldn't stop I got up like I said one o'clock in the morning doing it some more and when I got home from work I did the collar I bleached the collar this morning um, then when I got home from work I put the paint splatter on the collar. Now this is what I really love doing. I am so much into fashion. Sometimes I, I just dream of, you know, fashion ideas of clothing items in my head, dream of transforming things that, you know, clothing items. It's just, I'm always thinking about fashion. And um, I wish that me doing this I could, I could be successful and I wish that this would pay the bills you know I could be successful enough for it to pay the bills because they say when you do something when you're doing something you love you're not working and this is something that I love doing I just have a huge passion for fashion I really want to learn how to sew so that I can actually make my own clothing i did attempt to take sewing lessons before at what's the name of that fabric store jones joanne's i had bought myself a sewing machine from walmart this was maybe about eight nine years ago maybe ten years ago but i have always wanted to design my own clothing but i got discouraged when i went to the sewing classes because most of those women in there that were in the class I was like why y'all taking this class they already knew how to sew and so I felt like the dummy in the class and the teacher the instructor she was just more like telling people how they could sew better instead of teaching a person that didn't know anything about sewing how to sew and she couldn't really do one-on-one -on -one. so I thought no this ain't the class for me and I'm the type of person, um, I can sit in the classroom all day with a teacher or instructor talking to the whole class and I will zone out and not be done heard anything. She said, I have to be dealt with one-on-one. -on -one. 
you sit me down sit next to me show me how to do this show me how to do it once maybe twice and I, I may have a couple of questions, you know, after that, then I got it. I've always been like that. What I'm going to do with this jacket is I'm going to post it for sale in my Poshmark store. It's either going to be in Poshmark or I'm going to post it on eBay. But wherever it is, I'm going to put the link in my description box. And if you're watching and you think it is as fly as I do, you can purchase it. It's actually a size large denim jacket, which I think it's a, a junior size large because it looks kind of small. It looks more like a medium to me. And the brand is Apartment 9. And it's a um, denim jacket that I just revamped. So if you like this jacket and you wear a size medium to a large, I think I, could, I hadn't tried it on. I should have tried it on before I did work on it to see if it fit me comfortably because I wear um, between medium and large and X large if I want it to fit really loosely so um yeah I'm gonna put the link in my description box after I let it completely dry and after I wash it to make sure that the paint is actually going to stay on there once you wash it that's what I'm gonna do with it y'all I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think if you uh, have done something like this or you have any tips that I could uh, that you can give me to possibly do it better or easier. Please feel free to leave me in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos and click that notification so that you will get a notification every time I post a new video. And once again, thank y'all for watching this video. And I will see you on the next one. I forgot to um, introduce you all who don't know my model. This is Dominique. Thank y'all for watching.